day one of a whole new series for you, the 40 for 40. 40 minute workouts, 40 times over 10 weeks. Starting now with slingshots to warm up, six minute warm up, nice easy slingshots. Nikolai will show you the way in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So we're just warming up our body, getting ready for the workout we're about to receive today. Nice and easy. If you have options for your kettlebell weights, you're gonna use a light one during your warm ups. If this is your first time with us, welcome. If it's not, sorry to hear the same old jokes, the same old lines, but you love them or you wouldn't be back. We're gonna do the hand switch in three, two, one, reverse directions. It's not really a hand switch, you're switching hands every, every rep here, but switching directions for 30 seconds and then we'll move on. So I'm Amber, I'll be your pace setter today. <laughs> That's not true. I'm Amber, I'll be your coach today. This is Nikolai, he will be setting the pace for you. Woo, well, we're off to well, a good start. Like. Nah, it's cool, we'll do it this way. <laughs> we're gonna be moving into figure eights next. So you're gonna widen your stance, pass the kettlebell front to back and do that fancy hand switch behind your knee. Let's do it now. Here we go, keeping that bell high between the legs. Slight bend in the knee so you can move and shift your body weight as you go. So the way this program is gonna work, it's four days a week for 10 weeks. Each day of the week has a different focus. We do a strength workout each week, a mobility workout, a cardio workout, and a wild card workout. So those will be different each week depending on where we're at in the series. Three, two, one, let's move into ribbons. Hold that kettlebell upside down at your waist. Pass from one hip to the opposite shoulder. Drop the kettlebell behind your head, keeping tension on it. Come in front to the opposite hip and reverse. So back to what I was saying, the first four weeks of this program are progressive. So the kettlebell workouts each week will seem similar to the one before. So what I mean is, and we're going into squat benders, go ahead and set that kettlebell down. You're gonna to touch your toes while you're down there, stand back up, drop into a squat. So the strength workout next week is gonna look a little bit like the strength workout today. And the cardio workout next week will look a little bit like the week one cardio workout. So they'll get progressively harder for the first four weeks. Then we'll deload a little bit and then we'll ramp back up for the rest of the program to get you maximum return on your time investment. We're gonna move into hip swings Stand on one foot, three, two, one, let's go. Kick one foot freely up and behind. We're gonna do 30 seconds per leg here. Uh, so you only need one medium weight to get through the whole program. If you have options, bring them. If you have pairs, bring them, and we'll give you those cues as we go of when you can incorporate the doubles or the heavier weights and switch legs please and feel free to email us if you have any questions that we don't answer in all this chitter chatter Fifteen more seconds and then we will move into the alternating hip circles for 30 seconds Five, four, three, two, one. Nice wide stance and circle up one way and reverse. Alternating directions each scoop. Big old hula hoops here. In 10 seconds, we'll move into standing folding stars. Three, two, one. Keep your feet wide, arms wide up above, down, touch the opposite toe. Standing tall and reaching up each rep. In 10 seconds, we're gonna do a minute of shoelace lunges. We're gonna do 30 seconds where you're lunging forward and reaching down like you're gonna tie your shoelaces. And then we'll do 30 seconds to the side. Let's show them, Nikolai, let's go. Forward and down, touch 
around the shoelaces and back and go. All right, and then turn towards camera. Now you're going to step out into a side lunge, touch those laces. All right, next up, we are going to do high knees in three, two, one. Let's pick them up. Knees to palms. You can use your hands as targets to try to get those knees up there. You can walk this, of course, if you can't run it, no problem. But if you can run it, don't sell yourself short. Pick those feet up. Let's do it. And lastly, we're going to move into butt kicks. Let's go. Heels to the rear. Pick them up, pick them up, go. I'm going to talk about section one. We have a Tabata. That's where you do 20 seconds of work, hard work, you guys, and then 10 seconds of full on rest. And you repeat that, alternating exercises or not, depending on the scenario, and time. Uh, so section one, we're gonna alternate between goblet squats and narrow push-ups. I'm sorry, you need a pause for your warm-up. Good job, we're ready for this. Goblet squats, hold that kettlebell in front of you, squeeze it with your palms, drop down, nice deep squat. Very good, stand up nice and tall each time. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of those, and then we'll drop down into narrow push-ups. So your hands are gonna be within your shoulders. Your pinkies are at about the outside of your shoulders here. So just a little bit narrower than the conventional push-up. And your elbows are gonna slide out those side of those rib cages. There you go. And that's it, alternating back and forth for four rounds. It'll take four minutes. Lots of rest in there, so that's cool. A little sip of water. If you have options, you could go a slightly heavier for a goblet squat, but it's also section one, so you might want to ease your way in. Are you ready? In five, four, three, two, one, let's do it. Keep that kettlebell close to you, drop down, shoulders back. Getting your hips to parallel or below parallel, very good. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. We're coming up on the narrow push-ups. Welcoming in. Three, two, one, let's do it. 20 seconds of hard work. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. One round down. Just three rounds to go. Back to goblet squats. In a three, two, one. Let's hit it. Beautiful. Three, two, one, and great job. All right. Second 20 seconds of narrow push ups. And of course, you guys can be doing these on their knees if you need. Three, two, one, go. And if you're quite new and even that's too much for you, just go against the wall. Push your body, self, your body weight off the wall. 10 more seconds. And time, we are halfway through section one. Woohoo! Goblet squats, third round. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Squeeze your glutes as you stand up nice and tall. Squeeze that kettlebell. Three, 
Three, two, one. Excellent. Narrow push ups are next. A five, four, three, two, one. And hit it. Great work. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We've made it to the round that really matters, you guys. When it gets tough, that's where the magic happens. So deep squats, please. Full reps. Three, two, one, let's do it. This half reps make what? Half muscles, that's right. Let's do this for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That is time, no more goblet squats today. 20 more seconds of narrow push-ups, and we're moving on to section two. In three, two, one, let's go. Ooh, yeah. Ten more seconds. Great work for five, four, three, two, one. It is done. Congratulations. Woo! Take a little sip of water, towel yourself off if you need, and we're going to get ready for section two. I'm going to talk about it. We've got two exercises. We're going to do it in the pyramid fashion. So we will start and end with the first. So we do a push up plus a pull under for a minute. He's going to show you in a sec. Then we're going to do one arm rows for a minute on your left, then one arm rows for a minute on your right, and then end with another minute of push up and pull unders. So for the pull under, you're going to start in a plank position with the kettlebell on the outside of your frame, outside of your ribs, you're going to reach under, grab that handle, pull it across, and now you're going to do a push up. You're going to come back up to the plank, reach under, pull it across, and push up. So one minute of those, it's tough, hang in there, move slow if you need to. If you have to just hold the plank, do it. Then we've got one arm a row. So you're going to lunge forward, rest against that lunged forward leg, and keep that kettlebell right under your ribs there. Slide that elbow up past the rib cage, squeeze at the top, and drop it down. You can go all the way to the floor or just hover about an inch below to make sure you don't lose the tension. Okay, any questions? Any questions, Pacetta? Ready for one minute of push up plus pull under in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So, our favorite analogy here is that this kettlebell is like a big old bucket of water. And as you're pulling it across and under you, you don't want to make any splashes. Try to keep it very stable, keep the base parallel to the ground, like sliding down a conveyor belt. Good work. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Twenty seconds left. And you've discovered that this placement for your push-ups is nice and wide compared to those narrow ones you did earlier. So yeah, it's more push-ups, but you're feeling fresh, right? Three, two, one. Good. Done with those. On your feet. One arm rows. One minute per side. No rush here. You really want to squeeze and hold the bell at the top of each rep. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Strength is all about time under tension, right? So you want to keep that tension throughout this exercise. Now when we're doing swings and snatches and other stuff, we find moments to alternate between the tension and the relaxation. But this one in particular, tension. 
30 seconds down, 30 to go. Twenty seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds to rest, recover, and switch sides. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one, let's do it. And just take a mental note of how heavy this weight feels for you. We will be doing these again. So you'll do a little mental check of if you wanna use a heavier or lighter bell if they're available, or just if you're using the same weight, you'll notice how it gets a little, little easier. So you'll wanna squeeze a little tighter, hold a little longer at the top if it's too easy. Thirty seconds down, thirty to go. Hang in there for fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and time. Made sure to turn off all the fans in the studio so we can get that, that sweat going, right? Tell yourself off if you need. You got push-ups and pull-unders coming up in three, two, one. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I cheated you out of that uh, sip of water there. Like I said, these are tough. It's day one. If you just need to hold the plank here, you can absolutely do that. If you're all out of push-ups, just hold it. Stick to the pull-unders. We'll get there. Good work. 25 seconds left, and then we're at section three. Fifteen seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you get that drink. Woo! Good job. Nice work. Good work. Okay, so for section three, we're going to go back to that Tabata timing that we did in section one with goblet squats and narrow push-ups. It's a little different this time, though, because we're going to do all four sets of the first exercise and then all four sets of the second. And the reason we're going to do it this way is because if you only have one kettlebell, we're going to switch arms each set. And if you have doubles, I would go light and you can use doubles for the whole time if you wanted to. But we're going to do the single way so you can follow along with us. First up is going to be a rack squat. So you're going to hold the kettlebell in the rack position. Go back and watch our intro videos if you are unfamiliar with what that is. But you got your, yes, kettlebell right in front of you. You're going to drop your hips down. Perfect. So the second set, we'll just hold it on the other side. So we'll do one set left, right, left, right. Then we're going to do push press. So Nikolai is going to show us that. A push press, you start with straight legs in the rock position, just like you did for the squat. Dip your knees, load your quads, and use that extra little momentum as you stand back up to push that bell up into the press. The top of the press, the elbows pointed forward a little bit. Keep that kettlebell over your shoulder, not behind your head. Like so. Perfect. Good job. All right, shake it out, pace setter. Get yourself ready. You need a little chalk on your hands, a little towel, nothing. You're good. Okay, I'm gonna pop it back to this timing. All right, rack squats in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up and drop your hips. So rack means shelf, so this is a great example of how that works. As you squat down, your elbow comes up away from you a little bit and you can really feel how that kettlebell rests on your arm as a shelf. You've got all that contact. 
from your forearm and it's resting on your bicep and in your palm and time. Good job. 10 seconds off. We're going to switch sides. Ooh, a little alternating swing action during your rest. That's nice. Three, two, one, and go. Beautiful. If you can't get very deep, always check in with how wide your feet are. They might be too wide, they might be too narrow. So you can play with that a little bit. Just make sure your knees track the same direction over your toes. And time, good. One more set each side, and then we're moving into push press. It's my favorite, you just get to stand there and press, it'll be great. Three, two, one, rack squat on the first side. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Switching sides in ten. Five, four, three, two, one, and do it. Great work. 10 more seconds. We are done with these. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great. So now we have four sets of push press. Catch your breath in five, four, three, two, one. Good. Holding that in that rack. Yeah, you press that up. Excellent. Now, if you're leg, er, sorry, pardon. Three, two, one, time, 10 seconds of rest. If your belt is too light, you don't really need to use your legs. You can still to practice that muscle memory. Four, three, two, one, other side. But certainly you'll find that the heavier your bell is, the more you need to use those legs to help get it up. And time. We've got one more round on each. One more set on each side to complete this round. That's what I meant to say. Three, two, one, let's do it. Just 20 seconds hard work. Good reminder not to hold your breath. You can still use your anatomical match breathing during this. As you press up, you can take in a breath. As it comes down, your body compresses when you catch it. You can breathe out. And time, 10 seconds off, last 20 seconds coming up. Three, two, one, and go. Maybe tempted to hold your breath and push, which is fine if we're only doing a couple of heavy reps. We got lots of reps, so we gotta make sure we keep breathing. Three, two, one, section three is complete. We've made it to the right side of the board. The best side always. Ooh, we got stop snatch and loaded reverse lunges for a minute each left and right on that stop snatch and then a minute of loaded reverse lunge. It's just one round. So the stop snatch is a snatch like that, a swing that you catch overhead, but we're returning it to the ground each rep. Can I get a side view pace setter, please? So this is good. Starts on that mat there, right? Hikes it high between the legs, snatches it up back between the legs, and then make sure you drop your butt to get a little bit closer to the floor as that bell slides down back to the mat. Beautiful. You don't want to just bend over and drop it forward with the back. No, no. 
sit your weight back, get down. Then we got loaded reverse lunges. You can hold it either goblet style or behind your shoulders, whichever way you prefer. And we're gonna do a reverse lunge with that weight. So step back, knees gonna hover over the floor and step back forward, standing up nice and tall each rep. So either way you wanna hold it. Do you need some chalk? Do you need some water? Do you need some purple drink? Whatever you're drinking in there, take it now. Take it now. Let's see. Make sure this is set right because it says four rounds, but we're only doing three. Okay. Are you ready? Stop snatch on the left hand. I'm not giving a modifier for this because you know how to snatch, right? Everybody does. In five, four, three, two, one, and a go. A lot of extra work for your legs on this one. Beautiful. Just holding that kettlebell in that lockout position overhead just long enough that everything is still and then you can drop it back down. Now you can hold it up there as long as you want, but at some point it's not quite rest anymore, you know? Then you drop it, you drop it close to your body, catch it as quickly as you can again with your hand and pull it back high between the legs for that back swing. So it's a bigger arc on the way up. It's a little bit shallower of an arc on the way down. But not too much of an arc either way. I'm gonna insert as it's moving upward. There you go, one minute down. So take your 10 seconds off. And then we've got the other hand. A five, four, three, two, one, and go. So the way to control that arc so you don't have a lot of momentum moving backwards as you catch it is you want to make sure you let go of the handle when it's moving up early. So it's about chest height is when you're gonna let go and move that hand into the upper corner to catch it, if that makes sense. So you're inserting as the bell is moving upward. You get a nice soft catch overhead. If you hold on to that handle too long, it gets clunky at the top. Great work. Oh yeah, 10 more seconds. Hang in there. A five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, nice, way to squeeze in that extra rep. 10 seconds off, one loaded lunge coming up. Hold that kettlebell any way you like. If it's too much for you, you can do it body weight, no bell. Three, two, one, let's hit it. Reverse lunge. Want to make sure you take a big enough step backwards so that as you squat down then your front knee is not coming out over your toe too much good job nice work alternating legs each rep Pushing your heel into the floor as you stand up nice and tall out of that lunge. Almost there. 10 seconds to go. Get it, get it, get it. Four, a five, four, three, two, one. Great work. We have made it to the end. Section five. We've got pace setter's favorite, a four minute race to zero. How this works is we start with 10 reps of each of these exercises. We do 10 two hand swings and then 10 push ups. And then we do nine two hand swings and nine push ups, etc., etc. until we get down to zero. Exactly, here's our two hand swing, both hands on the handle. 
Swing it up about to chest height, then drop down conventional push-ups. You may remember these from section a one or two. Welcome back push-ups. So we have four minutes to complete it. If you don't get them all done, no problem. That's no big deal. Next time we do this, try to beat your time a little bit or your, you know, see if you can get closer to it. Um, push off, got your chalk. PRs typically you get done with about uh, 13 seconds to go. So let's top that, shall we? Ha ha ha. All right. Five, four, starting with 10, two hand swings in three, two, one, a go. Make sure you're counting because I can't count for you. Three minutes to go. Two and a half minutes left. minutes to go. Ninety seconds. Great job. Final minute. Thirty seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Woo! Nice work. I should have said for next time if you uh, complete it 
before the time is up, you can always either hold a plank or go back up. So you got that to look forward to too for next time. But let's celebrate our hard work with a cool down stretch. Make yourself some room, fold out your yoga mat for you if you like. We're gonna start with a standing folding, folding bend. So arms up and then hinge at the waist. Carefully, slowly get your hands as close as you can to the floor and release. And we're gonna hold this for another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Moving down to the floor, we are gonna do a figure four. So you're gonna lay on your back and you're gonna pick up your right foot, place it on your left knee and grab behind your left knee or your left shin, whichever's more comfortable for you and pull in tight. Fifteen more seconds. And let's switch sides, please. Same thing over here, right foot, or sorry, other knee on your right. Ugh, I'm gonna stop talking, you know what I'm saying. This right and left is so confusing. <laughs> Ten more seconds here, and then we'll flip it on over. Three, two, one. On your tummies, arms out to a T. You can pick up your right foot and reach across your body towards your left hand. Here we go with that right and left again. You can press your right hand into the floor. And feel that great stretch through your shoulder there and your pecs and roll back to the middle and switch sides. Great job. That left foot is reaching for that right hand. Your left arm is bent so your palm can press into the floor and push into the floor reach with your foot for a few more seconds five four three two one roll back to the center we're gonna do cobra so from here you're gonna press your palms into the floor and push up lift that rib cage up and breathe I'm not sure, is that breathing or grimacing? What's happening here? <laughs> oh, stinging eyes, stinging eyes. All the, oh, I just, I can see the sweat dripping from here, nice. All right, well, let's move back into child's pose. <laughs> Walk your hands forward, <laughs> wipe, wipe the stinging tears from your eyes. It's a good workout that ends in crying. 15 more seconds here. Three, two, one, class complete. Great job. So you did it, you showed up, you did day one. I wanna see you on day two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way through 40. Can't wait to see you next time, bye.